Well, hello there, nerds. I hope you're all having a fantastic evening, and welcome once again to a tier list. What's that, you may say? Sages, this isn't, you know, you've never done a tier list before. Well, <laughs> oh, oh, Sages, you're so funny. Okay, then, well, welcome, welcome, welcome to our first 100% legitimate tier list, where we talk about the best units from every color spectrum in Fire Emblem Heroes. And of course, we're going to be going over all of them in these set gradings, S, A, B, C, and D, and we're going to be talking about some of the best. The best of the best, even. All right, well, how about we start talking about those units, then, and stop dilly-dallying, hmm? Okay, well, all right, then. Let's just start off with the first portion of our tier list that, of course, is the red units, and that is... If you have blue hair and are a red unit, chances are you are Marth. So congratulations, you got the best S tier. That's right, blue hair Marth. You may say, well, wait a second. I have a female that says her name is Lucina. That's wrong, she is actually female Marth. So again, congratulations, you have female Marth. I'm really proud of you. And if your character has blue hair and is a sword unit, chances are they are amazing. So congratulations once again on having one of the best units in the game, mostly just because of the color of their hair. Alrighty then, so let's move on to, well actually, we're not going to be moving on to anything else just yet. We're going to go all the way down to D, and that is a special spot reserved for Elm. You see, Elm, it's mostly personal with him because he never showed up for me. That little jerk. And for that, because he's not uh, because he's not going to show up for me, well, he gets a special place in hell. So congratulations on the D-ranking, Elm. You deserve it. I hate you. Don't ever come back. Alrighty, so let's move on to the next one, shall we? And that, of course, is, well, blue units. And, well, there's the S-rank. It was really difficult to choose one for S-rank for a blue unit. But I have to say, I think we made a great choice here. And that, of course, is our good friend, Odin. Yes, that's right. Odin, guys. You love him. You love him so much. He has one of the best abilities in the entire game. And that, of course, is Moonbow. And you might be going, well then, wait a second. If Moonbow is so good, why have you not included Paula? And the simple answer to that is, don't ask questions. This is my tier list. Alrighty then. Okay, move on. moving on. If anyone ever questions you, well, I've heard Moonbow isn't that great. Don't listen to them. Send them to my video and tell them, simply put, well, he says, hey, look, this is his tier list and he says Odin's the best and Moonbow is the best. That's all you gotta do. Just go with that, okay? Alrighty then. Let's start off with the next portion. Let's move on to green and I think we made a very excellent choice for green because really when it comes down to it, greens are fantastic units there's a lot of them out there that are just amazing but we had to narrow it down to one and that of course is camilla's left boob yeah you might be asking wait camilla's left boob but what about her right well science has proven that her right boob is horribly misshapen so instead we went with the prettier one yeah it just felt right Honestly, when you look at her, you might be going, well, that would be why I look to her left more than her right. And that's the simple explanation. Her left boob is much better, and therefore probably the source of all of her powers. So if you ever wanted to know, hey, why do I always look to the left? Well, there you go. It's her left boob. And honestly, that's one of the best green units out there. Give it a good old smack, not the boob. Just, you know, attack with it. You know what, on second thought, let's just move on to the next best unit out there and of course that would be moving on to colorless and there's a lot there to pick out as well and you know this s unit is someone that everyone loves and that of course is our good friend takumi's ponytail now you might be going wait takumi's ponytail why him well simply put it's just because his ponytail has a lot more character than takumi himself mostly that might be because he comes from a terrible game where he screams at you most of the game usually Especially if you went Conquest. Still though, it has more character and typically it's a lot more quiet. Which is always a fun thing because honestly, Takumi, you just need to shut up. Okay? That's all that needs to be done. So there we go, Takumi's ponytail. It's probably, much like Samson, the source of his power. Who knows? We'll see how that goes. But still, we don't have, you know, too much left. Honestly, let's talk about that special tier and the best tier of them all. Let's, you know, let's just take a look at it. That is, of course, our S++ tier, which is specially reserved for a horse. Yeah, that's right, guys, a horse. You see right there, that horse right there? 
he's the only reason horse emblems any good outside of the buffs. If your character's on a horse, chances are they're incredible because of the horse buffs. What's that? You have a tome user who was on a horse? Oh man, that's crazy. So let's give a round of applause to that horse, guys. He's a beautiful creature, a beautiful specimen of excellence and brilliance. So yes, there you guys go. That's my first tier list. It is 100% legitimate, and I hope you all enjoyed. If you really did like it, feel free to leave a thumbs up. And also, if you, you know, didn't like it, well, don't worry. It's my tier list. I don't care. So there you guys go. Hope you all enjoyed. I'm going to go pass out now because I think I've taken way too much volume. Or is it volume? 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 I don't even remember anymore. I think I took like 20. Oh well, don't ever take 20 of them. Bye guys!